Hi students, welcome to my channel Economic Lectures. In this video, we'll be discussing one of the basic topics that comes under macroeconomics. And the topic is Keynes' psychological law of consumption. And of course, this topic is discussed widely when we come across macroeconomics. Uh, basically, the reason being that Keynes has introduced the concept of macroeconomics. So let's discuss what's the psychological law of consumption which was put forward by Keynes. According to the law, as income increases, consumption also increases, but at a lesser rate than the increase in income. If it is Keynes, it is Keynes. 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 It is But at a lesser rate than the increase in income. Income etriano increase the chain, that is a percentage etriano, that is called Kuranya Alaminaikum, consumption increase chain. That is when the income of a person increases, consumption also increases, but at a lesser rate, and a part of the income is saved. That is the etriano income vardikundu, that is Purna Maitu Uruvectium, consumption vendi Ubeoikaila. Adinde, etriano vardicuna, adinde, urushadaman, uruvalier bagam, consumption vendu bequim, matur valia bagam, savings in vendi, mati vequimani, chain. And as we said, this uh, law was put forward by John Maynard Keynes in 1936 through his book, The General Theory of Employment, Interest, and Money. He also says that with minimum income, we fulfill our basic needs. However, even with zero income, our basic necessities are fulfilled either by borrowing or using our savings. Keynes Parnu Akana Matu point in Dane Namada Parimida Maya income which Alangal Yetum Kuravetriano Namaki income Labikana, I income which Kundu then a Namal and the Chainu Namada basic Aushangal Purti Girikun. Even though we doesn't have any income, any other thing we are using our savings, uh, what we will do, we will be having our consumption. And this consumption is called autonomous consumption. In other words, marginal propensity to consume is less than 1. That is, what is the income of income? Adinde etra shadamana mano namal consume chayinade, adinayana in the paranade marginal propensity to consume in the paranade. So, according to uh, John Maynard Keynes uh, and according to his psychological law of consumption, this marginal propensity to consume is every time less than one. Uh, last go to the point, adinde our equation in Lona Shadika. Change in C, change in consumption by change in income, that is marginal propensity to consume, is every time less than 1 and more than 0. Okay, he also states that, that is this law also states that marginal propensity to consume and marginal propensity to save are greater than 0. Not only marginal propensity to consume, but also the marginal propensity to save. Marginal propensity to save in the Both marginal propensity to consume and marginal propensity to save are greater than zero but less than one. That is, which, uh, this leads to the equation that MPC plus MPS is equal to one. Even though there are many other factors. Keynes emphasized that it is the current level of income on which the consumption spending of an individual and the society depends. One person consumption vendi yathra chale vari kuno ennallade Keynes inte conceptil alagil Keynes munno tuvcha low pragaram ayal uda vekti uda current level of income umai bandha pattadam. Ne level ayal uda income yathra yano. Adinde itra shadamana maikum ayal endin vendi celebrating the day. Ayal would a consumption vendi celebrating. Upon the individual batram a matram bagamaitala, or society anangil polum, ayal angine aricum, cheyinade. Ah, idinda distanatan and the absolute income hypothesis in the canes in death and the canes than a muno to a cha, or you theory number discuss it in a video channel than a intending will kiss her chedal kit. So, what Keynes has said is that it is the current level of income on which 
the consumption of an individual or a society is based upon. Okay, that's what the law says. So let's go through some of the assumptions of this law. That is a psychological law of consumption. The first assumption is that normal conditions. Firstly, the psychological law applies only under normal condition and when there is no danger of war or cold war, depression, boom, political upheaval, revolution, etc. That the socio-economic political situations of a place that is one place, one socio-economic and political conditions Elam same ayal matramane, alengil normal conditional ayal matramane and the e law applicable agam. The second assumption is that psychological institutional complex remains the same, such as population, taste and preference, habits of the people, fashion, prices, etc. Itteratilula psychological and institutional aya caring loka same ayam. That is the population and value change in Davila. That is number Pradesh at the psychological law of consumption of Kurcha Padikanangla, Pradesh at the population and value change. They will then a Pradesh at the general taste and preference. Uh, the habits of the people living in that uh, in that situation or in that uh, place, such things will not be changing and will be remaining the same. The third assumption is that psychological law of consumption, Keynes psychological law of consumption is practicable or is applicable in an economy which is capitalist and based on laissez faire. So, what is laissez faire? Laissez faire denotes that government will not interfere in the market. Of a capitalist economy, the world in the laser sphere and that is the third economy, Anakil Matraman in the Keynes in the psychological of consumption, practical, Akan, Patina, the Langil, implement the chain Patina. The psychological law applies to free and prosperous economies and does not hold well in socialist and underdeveloped economies. Socialist diagram, other both an underdeveloped dia economic relum, Namaka, Idi implement the Cheyan Karila, capitalist economy based on other Keynes in the psychological law, Namaka, implement the Cheyan Karila. The last, uh, the last part that we are discussing in this video is that propositions of this. E Niyama Munno took on the Karinga. What are the points that its law put forward? That is the propositions of this law. The first one, increased aggregate consumption. Every time the consumption increases, as the aggregate income increases. Income is okay, 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 consumption vardikum. Even though by a smaller amount. This is because when the basic necessities or demand of the people are already fulfilled, the people will start saving the extra additional income. Thus, saving increases. What is the reason that the increase in aggregate consumption is in a smaller amount? The reason is that when income increases, the basic necessities and the demands of the people will be fulfilled. You will not be having any sort of basic necessities or basic needs. Because as your income has increased and has reached in a certain position, you will be uh, fulfilling all your basic needs and basic demands. So, when income increases beyond that limit, you will be using only a small part of that income for consumption and a bigger part of that income will be used for savings. Thus, uh, your savings will be increased. The second proposition put forward by this law is that division of the increased income between consumption and saving whenever you have uh, your income increased the increase in that income will be divided into consumption and save the third proposition put forward by this law the increase in aggregate income will lead to increased consumption and save and of course an increase in aggregate income will surely lead to increase in both consumption and saving Savings matramala vardikana, the consumption of vardikana, the consumption of vardan valare kura vairikum in the matramu. So, this is what Keynes psychological law of consumption is uh, put forward. Apa iter a thrilla point glan and the Keynes in the year in the amum, we know to work on the basic itla gari mana, otherwise macroeconomics in a basic itla urunia mana idi. 
if you have any doubts you can uh, post in the comment section and of course i request you to like share and subscribe my channel okay thank you see you in the next video